guys, it's Sonia with her face done. I'm not scaring you with my plain face anymore and chap lips. Hey! Okay, stop. I'm being goofy. So today I wash my locks because I no longer have sister locks. I wash my locks for the first time. And um, I just want to do a video firstly to show you how my hair was looking. Um... After the first wash, it's still damp. It's, um, I'm just letting it air dry. And um, when I decided to, I did this video already. And then I saw how I looked, just all busted with no makeup. And I'm like, you know what? Let's do this over. Let me do my eyes. I didn't do any mascara though. Let me put on some lipstick, do some color, and come back correct. So, I washed my hair, I braided and banded, I'm still braiding and banding, and um, I'm still using the Sister Locks Dandruff Shampoo. I think I might have maybe this much left. Yeah. So, remember in my last video or a couple of videos ago, I was asking for recommendations for conditioners like a leave-in or whatever. I asked you guys to chime in as far as what your favorite conditioners were. And um, I haven't um, investigated those yet. I haven't bought anything. I decided to use what I always buy for my girls who are still loose natural. And what we always buy, or what I always buy, I'm the one that's buying it, um, is Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. I love this brand, I love the shampoo, and I always buy them together, the conditioner and shampoo. So what I did was, I took this, I did like three pumps of this into this spray bottle, and I also added to this some distilled water, and I just kind of mixed it up. This is kind of like the what's left. I had, you know, used it so it looks more foamy, but there was more water in here. And I just um, put some distilled water in here and I filled it up to maybe right there. And then I just spritzed my plaits. I saturated my plaits and my scalp with this mixture. And then I put a plastic shower cap on and I just let it sit for maybe an hour. I think it was an hour. And then I rinsed and my hair definitely feels softer. My scalp feels better, and I'm just gonna start adding that to my regular routine going forward. Um, so, usually on my wash day, my routine is to wash and then um, oil my scalp and then just let it air dry. So, in my last video, I told you guys that I was gonna make my hair, uh, hair oil concoction and I decided, well, why don't I show you what I use? I haven't done this in a while. I used to do this a lot when I was a loose natural. And um, I love doing it. I like making hair butters, body butters, stuff you can use from head to toe if you want to. Your whole family can use this, not just for women. Your husband, your sons, they can all, when they get out the shower or um, the bathtub, you know, they can use the body butter and moisturize their skin is really good. So I also like to do the same with hair oils that specifically are made for your scalp and to help your hair. So what I did, I had to really look around for an empty bottle because I haven't done this in a while because with Sister Locks, you know, you're not supposed to use oil, especially when you first get them. So I, I had no need to make any hair tonics or whatever. So I had to search for a bottle. I found a bottle, I emptied it out and took the label off. I think it was some old conditioner. It was pretty much gone. Rinsed it out, cleaned it out really well. And this is what I'm gonna use for the oil. So the oils that I use for my mixture, again, like I said in the other video, it's oils that I know are good for your hair and scalp. They promote hair growth. They help stop breakage. A lot of these oils, especially essential oils, um, they have antibacterial properties. They help keep your scalp clean. They help prevent dandruff. 
um, in any other issue you may have. And um, what else? Like as far as your skin, rashes or burns or any kind of irritations or whatever. So those are the kind of things I like to use in these oils that I know will help my scalp because I do have dandruff issues. And um, so I like using things that kind of fight that, that's, you know, have those properties in it to fight that. So anywho, let's start. First and foremost, my castor oil. I always keep castor oil on hand. This is a heavy oil. So if you don't necessarily need a heavier oil on your scalp or if your hair might be thin and it's too heavy or you get you have problems with dandruff easily, I wouldn't recommend using too much of this. This is still a good oil to use directly on your skin face, under your eyes, or in a hair mixture for your scalp. But again, it's a heavier oil and if you're if you don't if your hair doesn't do well or your scalp doesn't do well with a heavier oil, either don't use it or use just a little. Next up is my apricot kernel seed oil. This is an eight ounce bottle. I get all of these from Amazon by the way. Another good oil, it's moisturizing for your skin. You can use it directly on your skin. Sometimes I do, like when I get out of the shower. Sometimes I'll just use the oil and it's just very moisturizing and it's very good for your hair. Uh, next up is the carrot seed oil. This is a four ounce bottle I got from Amazon. Um, this oil is expensive which is why I got the four ounce bottle because the, the eight ounce bottle can run you 24, 25 bucks and up depending on who you get it from or what brand. And again, from Amazon. And um, so this is another very, very good oil. Extremely good for your skin, your hair, promotes hair growth. It's packed full of vitamin E and all kinds of other good stuff. Um, next are my, oh, my vitamin E oil. This I usually get, I bought this one from Walmart, but I also like Trader Joe's. And you can also get this um, from Amazon. Amazon sells Trader Joe's vitamin E oil as well. So either or, but this one particular, I got from Walmart in the, um, drug aisle, you know, medications and all that good stuff over there. And then virgin red res red raspberry seed oil. This is another one. I don't think I mentioned this in that last video, but it's another very good oil for your hair, skin. It promotes hair growth. It's very moisturizing. It's packed full of um, vitamins and um, very good and as far as the essential oils I like to use sweet orange it smells so good I love the smell of this um I'll throw in a little rosemary first of all I got these I bought this little thing it's like a um a packet of, of of a bunch of essential oils and I've had it for a while and um, I love eucalyptus. Um, if you want that tingly, fresh feeling, cleansing feel, peppermint. I'm all out of peppermint. I need to buy some more. And um, lemongrass. Smells so good. And clary sage. Sage oils in itself are excellent um, for hair growth, preventing preventing breakage. Um, it even helps with your gray hairs. It helps darken your hair naturally if you use the oil, but I think even more in particular, if you use the dried sage leaves and use the tea, make a tea, that helps even more so with your gray hairs and um, the medicinal properties 
the hair growth. It stops the breakage, all that good stuff. So these are the essential oils that I like to use and add to my little concoctions. I don't know if I mentioned tea tree, but I got some tea tree over here too. So basically what I did was my bottle is already, this is the mixture I've made already. And I basically use maybe two to three tablespoons of castor oil. I used about the same amount, about two tablespoons of the apricot oil. I used maybe a tablespoon of the carrot seed oil, about a tablespoon of my vitamin E, maybe a teaspoon of the red raspberry. And then I did about 10 drops of the clary sage. I did about the same amount of drops of the sweet orange. I did five drops of the rosemary. Um, I didn't have any more peppermint, so I did not use that. I used about 10 drops of lemongrass and um, five drops of the eucalyptus. So basically all you do, you put, I put them all in here and you just, you know, I put the top back on, shook it up, and then I oiled my scalp. So my scalp is oiled. My hair still maybe, it's almost dry. It's still pretty wet in the back because of course the back is the thickest. But, um, so my hair is still air drying. I put some makeup on and I decided to do a video. So that's pretty much my, oh, I forgot a step. So after I conditioned my hair and I rinsed it out really well, I followed up with this Cantu Shea Butter Hydrating Leave-In Conditioning Mist. And this is what I was talking about in my last video that I bought. I got this from Amazon as well for like six bucks. And as you can see, like I told you, it's clear. There's no residue. There's nothing. It smells really nice. It's light. So yeah, I just spritzed all over, did my ends, massaged it in. And like I said, I'm just letting it air dry. And then I made my little oil concoction. I oiled my scalp already. A little goes a long way. I did not fill up the whole bottle. I don't even think I went halfway with um, how much oil I used. So, I mean, if I run out anytime soon, I'll just make this mixture again. I don't measure anything. I just kind of eyeball it. And I go based on what my hair and scalp needs. So your hair and scalp may not like this combination of oils. Again, especially with castor oil because it is a heavy, heavy oil. And my hair, my scalp in particular, it can take heavy oils because it just drinks it up. So I need it, um, but you may not. So you have to determine what um, oils work for you, what oils you like. You may not like this, the oils I used. I do need to buy some more jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is another expensive oil, but it's so good. It's good to have, um, it's great for your skin. It promotes hair growth. It's great for your scalp. It's a lighter oil, so that may work for you too. Um, but yeah, you just have to decide what works for you. Do your research like I did because I didn't just go out and buy all these oils. You know, I researched them first and then <clears throat> bought them and so I strongly recommend that you do the same, do your research, and um, yeah, you know, you can never go wrong with all natural. These are all natural organic oils, and they have so many benefits, and you can use them from head to toe. They're excellent. Like my husband, was it last week? 
he was shaving his head because, you know, he's bald. And so he shaves his head and he nicked himself some on his forehead and he nicked himself really pretty good. It was, it was bleeding. And so I told him, I'm like, you need to clean it. Let's clean it up, clean it out. And then um, I dried it, patted it dry with um, a cotton ball or tissue or something, whatever I used. And I put some vitamin E oil on it and I put some castor oil on it. And I kept doing that until and it started to heal up really fast. And that's what vitamin E does. It's a healer. It heals your skin. And um, I don't think I didn't put the oil on it right away. I gave it a day before I started putting the oils on it. And it just really, really helped the healing process um, with the sore. And um, he's diabetic. And when you're diabetic, it takes your skin a lot longer to heal than the average person. So I knew these oils, the castor oil and the vitamin E especially, would help speed up the healing process for that. So these oils are good to have. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to come on and share with you guys and show you the do and come to you with a cuter looking face for once <laughs> and uh, show you my locks after washing and um, a few did kind of come loose at the end and I just twisted them back up but I will start um, sealing the ends with my Instalock tool I just haven't decided when but I am going to and that is pretty much it you guys so let me know your thoughts. Let me know what oils you use, what works for you. If you have any suggestions, um, hit me up and we'll talk about it. We'll discuss it. Um, I love to hear about um, oils, essential oils, any oil that I, ha I may not have heard about before. Uh, Lang Lang, I think that's how you pronounce it. That's an oil that I want to use. Essential oil is supposed to be really, really good. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's an essential oil. I think it's just an oil. It's expensive, but it's good. And I want some. So that's pretty much it. I'm rambling. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you to my subscribers. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.